Ya, Temawai Kanyo ni sebenarnya memang uh, ciptaan bukan saya seorang saya, saya dengan Ken bermula dengan watak hanya bunyau dan mujab. Tapi pengembangan cerita sebab bila asyik dua orang kita macam dah habis idea, kita berjumpa dengan tim Temawai Kanyo ni dan cerita why not kita buat satu cerita berdasarkan kehidupan masyarakat luar bandar. Kita sediakan siniran yang sinis tetapi dalam bentuk komedi sebab kalau hidup ni kita nak direct sound orang dia macam orang macam tak dengar sangat tapi dalam sinilah sini dalam komedi mungkin orang akan dapat faham apa yang kita cuba sampaikan melalui cerita you know the the boy can you is actually a show that that has been done for like 10 years on radio with uh, Mujang Bunya the audience and and the listener the fans they have been like following this show for like the, the past decades and finally today they they are able to watch them on TV and you know see how how Jabo walks see how Twai Ruma scold people um, I saw something quite special in the sense that this was going to be the first ever um, Iban uh, language comedy sitcom uh, that was going to be produced and to me that was uh, something quite unique and and never been done before I felt that at the time that it was something that I, uh, the Dayak community or, or at least the Iban community needed to have because we had a product that could um, resonate amongst the community as well as I suppose explain what the community is all about you know, not just within Sarawak but uh, as a whole in Malaysia so people can understand how they live their lives in a comical way but how the culture is, is explained Uh, to to not just audiences but to people of Sarawak and of Malaysia. When I first got this project, I knew that I need I definitely need even more experienced people to direct this whole thing. And one day, through my producer, I got in touch with Mr. Rashid. He quickly agreed to to be on board. This show couldn't be be done well without him. As a, an experienced sitcom actor. Uh, a lot of it we will try and look for the the comedy elements without without uh, compromising the story so you know one thing that that uh, when i became when i was just the, when i was directing my my cast it's like they were naturally funny but i had to contain that so that they will keep it within the story itself selama ni kita dari radio drama radio drama radio ni just kita cakap baca skrip ikut donasi tapi kali ini ada pergerakan memang cabaran dia cukup uh, tertekan kadang-kadang bila kita tak dapat buat cepat oh, tapi iyalah bagi cara kita nak cool down beratasnya just baca is 100% Sarawakian it was a challenging uh, task because apart from myself I, I think there were you know, none none of the the crew and cast had ever gone through this kind of um, process before If it's just those two talking, because usually he talks and then he talks and then he talks. Okay. So if you go, it will be too confusing. For the audience, it will be too much. That's why the three is okay because I can capture it on on this camera. You get the three shot there. So you have to tell him that you're going back. Because two of them are not getting rich. Even he will be fine. Yeah. But if you're going to go into the three shot, you got to tell. You sort of got to tell him. Okay. Hold, 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 hold. Uh, are you are you on a three shot, Jason? You're also on a three shot. So I've got two on a three shot. 